Well, in today's good news segment, a Jasper woman is helping people feel the power of prayer. And all it takes is a small piece of fabric. CBS 42 News reporter Connie Gasquey joins us live in the studio now to explain. Yeah, guys, you may have heard someone say before they could just feel that someone was praying for them during a difficult time. Well, a Jasper woman started a business to make that feeling a little bit more tangible. The business is called Custom Prayer Cloths. Isaiah 53 and 5. Charlotte Williamson started it back in the 90s. Her husband was battling lung cancer then, and he wanted a reminder that the community was praying for him. Williamson's daughter says her mom had an idea straight out of scripture. And so my mom was like, I'll be happy to, you know, make some prayer cloths. They talk about them in the Bible. They're small pieces of fabric, and each features a Bible verse. Many people in the community started asking for them, so Williamson decided to start a business. Now she and her daughter, Cindy Gardner, sell them to all 50 states and beyond. A lot of people would just call me and say, hey, I need prayer. Oh, I'm having a test. Could I get a prayer cloth? I just feel good if I had scripture on me. And, you know, we mail those out, too. And they say they've heard incredible stories about the impact these prayer cloths have had on people dealing with difficult circumstances. They consider it not just a business, but also a ministry. And it's a ministry that you can really carry with you. Here's an example of one right here. You can kind of see how small it is, just four and a half by five inches, and you can just stick it right in your pocket, just that easy. So, yeah, yeah, easy to carry with you. And it's so nice to not only know that people are praying for you, but to have the scripture right there to kind of right, exactly. pull out as that reminder. It, it almost serves as, you know, pocket sized inspiration. No That's doubt. exactly what it is. All right, yep. Connie, thanks a lot for that good news story. And you can tell us about other good news stories in your neighborhood. It could be about a positive program or someone you know doing something good for others. Just send us an email to goodnews at cbs42.com or inbox us on our social media pages. Jack